have discussed about magnetic field intensity due to finite and infinite conductor. Consider a conductor of finite length carrying current I and consider a small current element ideal in the conductor at a distance R from the point P where magnetic field H is to be determined. By Bytesovat law, the flux density at point P due to the current element IDL is given by dB is equal to mu naught I DL sin theta divided by 4 pi r square. From this figure, or d theta is equal to dl sin theta. Or d theta is equal to dl sin theta. So sin theta will be considerable as arc. Substituting this value in dB equation, we get this result dB is equal to mu naught I or d theta divided by 4 pi r square. In the numerator, only one R will be cancelled by the help of numerator R. So the equation is equal to mu naught I d theta divided by 4 pi R. From this figure, sin theta is written as d divided by r by using Pythagoras theorem sin theta is equal to opposite side divided by hypotenuse so this is the opposite side d value hypotenuse value is r so sin theta is equal to d divided by r from this equation, we calculate R value is equal to D by sin theta. Substituting the value of R in DB equation, we get D B is equal to mu naught I sin theta divided by 4 pi d d theta the total flux density is calculated by using this equation of db so this is the differential magnetic flux density to calculate the total flux density by integrating this db value. So we get this result of equation is equal to mu naught divided by 4 pi d integral of the lower limit is theta 1 upper limit is pi minus Data 2 sin data d data. Here mu naught divided by 4 pi d or the constant times. So taken outside of the integral. We fix the lower limit is data 1 because the figure is having three angles data 1, data and 
डेटा टू सो द लोअर लिमिट इज डेटा वन द अपर लिमिट इज पाइ माइनस डेटा टू by integrating this equation we get this result b is equal to mu not i divided by 4 pi d cos theta 1 plus cos theta 2 the unit is weber per meter square so this is the expression for flux density due to finite length conductor the magnetic field intensity due to finite length conductor is given by h is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi d i it will become i cos theta 1 plus cos theta 2 the unit is ampere per meter the magnetic flux density unit is vapor per meter square the magnetic field intensity unit is ampere per meter because we know the relation between magnetic flux density and magnetic field intensity b is equal to mu h so h equation becomes i divided by 4 pi d cos theta 1 plus cos theta 2 in this equation mu not the value is not used if it is infinitely long theta 1 is equal to theta 2 is equal to 0 then b value becomes mu not i divided by 4 pi d and 2 the above equations b and h are relevant to finite length conductors in this above equation we substitute this value for theta 1 theta 2 is equal to 0 we get this result for magnetic flux as well as magnetic field intensity due to infinite length conductor here the data 1 data 2 is equal to 0 so cos 0 value is equal to 1 so 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 so the magnetic flux density b is equal to mu not i divided by 2 pi d the unit is vapor per meter square from this equation we easily calculate this value for magnetic field intensity h is equal to 
i divided by 2 pi d ampere per meter here vapor per meter square so only one term is cancelled for calculating magnetic field density from magnetic flux density the term is mu naught mu naught is permeability of the free space the value is equal to 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 henry per meter so this equations b and h or the magnetic flux and magnetic field intensity for infinite length conductors thank you the video padichirundha like pannunga share pannunga subscribe pannunga the video padichirundha like pannunga share pannunga subscribe